Welcome to another How to RC video. <clears throat> Occasionally I get questions about what all do I need to do this conversion. So I thought I'd do a quick video and show you. First off, of course, you need a T-Max and a radio. And a receiver. Don't get mad at me if I overstate the obvious. After 30 years in this hobby, what I think is obvious to a lot of people getting into this hobby is not obvious. Next thing you're going to need is a motor. This is a Trinity Track Star. Uh, 550 size motor. And zoom in for you a little bit. If I turn it over, you'll be able to read it even. Yeah. And um, you'll need a speed control. I'm not pushing Hobby King, but their products have gotten a lot better. And uh, so here's a uh, 120 amp speed control from Hobby King, which will handle that 550 on your T Max just fine. Uh, you're going to need a pinion gear, and it's going to have to be the same bore, the hole in the pinion gear is going to have to be the correct size to fit on the shaft of your motor. In other words, you get a five millimeter shaft on the motor, eighth inch pinion gears aren't going to work. You're going to need a battery charger. I got two of these and uh, I think they're great. Although if you don't want to have to mess with hooking it up to a battery or getting a power supply, I suggest you get a battery charger with a built-in power supply. They're a lot more money, but it makes things a lot easier if you can just plug it into the wall instead of having to have a car battery. You're going to need a couple of batteries. I suggest the hard shell car batteries. These are 2S batteries, and if you gear it right, with a good 550 motor, you get all the speed you want out of it. So how am I doing? That about everything? So here's uh, here's my T-Max, basically with that uh, combination in it. of uh, motor and speed control. This is on a uh, tall mount with an ESC tray. Here's a different combination with a 550 motor and a uh, Trackstar brushless speed control. Here's the original I got from Novak. Let's see, labels over there. It's a Novak motor and speed control. These are great. I saw these on sale a couple of years ago for like 169 bucks and snapped up a couple of them. And they're not available. They went, they went bye-bye right off of the market in a, in a month or two. So the conversion's pretty straightforward. Take out the motor, the uh, gas tank, the servo for the brakes and the thing. Pull the transmission apart. Take everything out of the transmission. Clean up the ball bearings. Put the ball bearings back in. Put in the new one-way speed control 
and uh, the single speed option that turns your transmission into a gearbox it's just a gear reduction box and then everything else is controlled by the speed control and the receiver from the transmitter so you get forward brakes and reverse uh, <laughs> and when you let go of the throttle it should coast I bought this really inexpensive brush speed control for the uh, Traxxas 775 motor out of a Summit for the super cheap conversion that was they didn't bother to tell me that when you let go of the throttle the brakes came on hard not much fun to drive pretty much useless piece of technology I think the only thing I'm going to keep is a little fan on top so if I've left anything out leave me a comment at the bottom of the page like if you like it subscribe if you like and all the information is at howtorc.com you can read all about all this stuff see all the motor mounts that are available and uh, if you have any questions send me an email bye for now